This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Hi, I'm Julie Fayfan Balzer, and I believe that everyone is creative, and not only that, but creativity is a skill. It can be learned, it can be taught, and the good news is that it can be practiced. So today, I want to talk about an experience I recently had. So a client of mine said that she was very overwhelmed by all of her art supplies. And what she found is that it was paralyzing. She would get into her creative space and sort of not know what to do because there was just too much to deal with. So I have three solutions that I think you should consider if that sounds like a problem that you might have. Solution number one, purge. That's right. Even though you spent good money, even though you haven't used it, even though it's barely been touched, even though you might use it someday, if you don't use it, if you don't love it, it's time to get rid of it. Now, here's the thing. You don't have to throw it in the garbage, right? There are a whole bunch of different solutions. So if you really aren't sure and don't really feel ready to let go yet, here's what I advise. I think that you should take all of those supplies that you don't really like, you're not really sure about, they aren't things that you grab for, they're way at the back of the closet and you never even think about them, put them in a box or several boxes depending how big your collection is and then put that in the basement or the attic or a closet with today's date. If you come across that box in a year and you haven't opened it, if you come across that box in five years and you haven't opened it and you haven't gone looking for it, it's probably a sign that it's not meant to be, right? That it's time to get rid of those supplies. So sometimes that can help you be ready to get rid of them. If you're already ready to get rid of stuff, remember you can donate it. Schools, um, just regular teachers, if you know a teacher, they'll often take them to make all sorts of classroom projects. Uh, religious organizations of all kinds. There's a homeless shelter near me that has an art program and they'll take them. I mean, there are so many people who want your art supplies or if you really want to do it, sell them. You know, people love to get mystery boxes and stuff like that. Even if it's used supplies, you just have to tell them that it's used. So there are plenty of ways to rid yourself of the excess. Okay, if you really can't get rid of the excess, here's tip number two. So we recently purchased this book. It's called The Sketchbook Idea Generator by Jennifer Organ Lewis. And it's really cool. Look inside for a second. So you open it up and you can see how it's got all these like flippy parts, right? So it's subject, medium and technique, and colors. And basically the idea is when you're stuck in your sketchbook, you just sort of open up a random selection and it will tell you what you're gonna do how you're gonna do it, right? And even the colors you're gonna use. Now this is a great little book, but you don't need to buy this book. You can make for yourself out of printer paper or shipping tags or whatever it is you have sitting around. Just make a list of your supplies. I have markers, I have colored pencils, I have acrylic paint, I have watercolor, I have spray ink, right? Those are your colorants. Okay, they go into one pile. Then you're gonna make a second pile and in that pile is going to be all the surfaces you have. I have canvas, I have an art journal, I have tags, I have a big sheet of paper, okay? And those are your surfaces. And then you're going to make one last pile, which is for your kind of like accessory supplies, right? What are the fun extras that you want to use? So those could be stamps, stencils, you can even divide your stamps up and say like, foam stamps, rubber stamps, hand carved stamps, you know, depending on whatever it is you have. And then you can have these cards and you can make your own selector tool so that you don't get overwhelmed by your supplies. And instead you can have really a lot of fun accidentally getting combos that you wouldn't have necessarily put together. So give that a try. And finally, solution number three, which happens to be the one that I subscribe to is learn. Yeah, I know that sounds silly, but one of the reasons we get intimidated and overwhelmed by all the stuff that we have is because we're not really sure how to use it all. We don't feel like we're, we're the masters, right, of all the things that we see. So if you have a project in your mind, you're not sure which medium to use to get there because you don't know yourself well enough or you don't know the medium well enough. So the solution to that, both unfortunately and fortunately, is you have to practice. The act of making art will inform you. Now, if you're still a little bit nervous, here are a couple other opportunities for practicing in which there's also learning. 
So YouTube, right where we are right now, right, is a great resource full of tons of free information about different products. So make out a little course of study for yourself. Decide that you are going to watch at least one YouTube video a week and practice whatever's in the video so that you get a better sense, you know what I mean, of what it is that you're using. You can also take an online class. There are tons of opportunities now, especially because of the pandemic, to learn from home from teachers that you would never be able to visit who are across the world in other countries, on other continents, you know, or maybe just even next door, but you just can't get to them. And of course, there is so much to be said for learning on your own. You really can just get out some paper, some fabric, whatever it is, and just make a huge mess. It's not wasting your supplies. Learning is never wasted time. So I hope I've given you a couple of strategies to deal with any supply intimidation you may be feeling. Remember, you can purge, you can do your supply cards, or you can learn. Or you know what? You can also kind of combine all three. So thanks so much for watching, and I hope you will subscribe to my weekly newsletter. It comes out on Friday afternoons, and it always has something interesting to get you thinking for the week. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you can take online classes from me at balzerdesigns.com. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine.